Hi guys, I'm Welcome back to my channel. This is Shamise TV and I'm Shamise, period. I forgot to do this so I had to, you know, throw this in there for y'all, but y'all get She's it. She's a... I am loving this hair. I need to show y'all what came in this bag. So as you guys can see, this hair is bomb. It's from Eula Hair. So it's a 13 by 4, 13 by 4 frontal. Apparently it's 18 inches, but this ain't giving 18 inches for real. This is pretty, this is pretty low. I'm just saying y'all, this hair is great hair. Like, look what you get for 18 inches. If this is 18 inches, the other ones that I used to get, they used to be jiffing me, for sure. <laughs> this is the bag that it came in. Obviously, it rings on my head, and this is a drawstring bag. So you need to keep that, put it right back in there when I'm ready to take it off. And inside of the bag was these eyelashes. And I don't know if y'all can see, but these is low-key kind of cute. I don't know. So they got good taste. They got good taste. Um, it's this wig cap. You know we need a nose. You know I need a lot more of those for these promotions that's coming in. <laughs> but also, um, it's just like a thank you card. Thank you for choosing. It's the instructions on how to like take care of the hair. I can be wondering like how we can keep the wigs nice and pretty and be wearing them like mad times. They have the instructions on the back how to keep your wig alive, y'all. They give you instructions. They give you the conditioner, shampoo, everything. Everything to keep your wig alive, everything to revive your wig, everything to keep your wig healthy because it's still here, y'all. It's still here. So you gotta keep it healthy and the same. The last thing they gave me was this cold wig healthy, y'all. And I use those like crazy actually so I definitely use that as well so as you guys can see they put little goodies and stuff inside of the bag you're not get, just getting your wig by yourself nah they like they hook y'all up for real make sure y'all gonna get y'all this hair the links and everything will be down in the description once again I said that it's a 30 by 4 it's the lace frontal baby supposed to be 18 inch so just go get y'all this hey. and it's way over shoes and okay so i'm just getting into it right here i'm just putting on lotion because i didn't want y'all to do me in the comments my hands was ashy ashy as hell and now i'm showing you guys the cream palette that i use for my wig and for my wig cap as well honestly like i'm using the right side and i'm not sure if it's my color for real for real but like we're just gonna hope that it is because I already bought it and it's already on my head. So I just really hope it's my color, honestly. This is my first time trying this out. I'm not even gonna tell if it was my color, not for real, for real. So if I look a hot mess, y'all gonna see that later. Um, I'ma say it before y'all say it. I know I look like Miss Potato right here, especially with my head tilted like this. So you guys do not need to tell me in the comments. And if y'all do tell me in the comments, I'm blocking y'all. Bye. Now that I'm finished with the wig cap, I'm just showing you guys how good I plucked this wig. Like, okay, so first of all, the wig came pre-plucked already. I, I probably should have showed y'all before and after. But y'all, I promise y'all, I ate this wig up when I plucked it, okay? Okay? So right here, I'm just going in and I'm just adding a little bit of makeup to the top of the lace. Usually, I will put it under the lace. I mean, obviously, but I wanted to like, you know, test try the wig, put it on my head to see if the color matches and everything before I put the makeup everywhere else. I know y'all wondering why my face looks so funky. I realized that I actually over bleached the knots. So I just went in with some mascara, y'all. Mascara is my life saver. Like, I could bring a wig back to life with some mascara with all the bow spots and everything. Yes, baby, put some mascara, 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 and it's a leave-in conditioner. And mm, mwah. that was me doing, like, a chef's kiss because, yeah, I'm Italian now, apparently. Anyway, so, so as you can see, the wig, it matches. The color is okay. It's not too much makeup on it. It's going to be a little bit darker than this, but for the most part, it matches. Don't mind my edges over there. I'll probably shave it off after this video, so no, no. And now that I know that the makeup is my color, I'm just going to go in and put it everywhere on the lace. Y'all know y'all probably wondering, like, do you put makeup on there already because it look kind of orange under there? No! That's how it looks when you bleach your knots, y'all. Bleach. 
you're not stevia bleach you're not just want me to do a video on how i do it i can but i just do like a t going across the front of the frontal and then going down because i usually do middle parts or whatever or i just go around the part that i'm gonna do and yeah that's how i bleach my nose ah! So right now, I'm just trying to cut my lace. I'm trying to make sure I get it right above my ear and don't cut too much or too little bit because I be struggling here. And I did it off camera, as you guys can see. Like I said, I be struggling. I definitely cut too much, like just a little bit too much. But I'm going to be able to hide it with the hair anyway. So after that, I just go in with my good old ghost bond glue. And I OD with the glue, y'all, because I be sweating mad much. Like, when I say mad much, y'all, like, for real, for real, though, my wig will be back there if I don't put that much glue. So, I'm just going with the glue, and I use this little nail thingy. Like, this is not for your hair, y'all. I promise it's not for your hair, but it works so good. I don't even know what it is, but I just know that it's, like, it's for your nails. So, get it, y'all. If you don't got it, get it. Look it up. Take a picture, screenshot, search it up, Google it. I don't know. Get it. And now we just blow dry until it's clear, y'all. Make sure that it is clear because you don't want that white stuff under your wig showing. You can't hide that for real, for real. So just blow dry until it's clear. And then I'll come back to y'all when I'm doing something else. Bye. Blah, blah, blah. This right here is my favorite part. Actually getting to put the wig on my head because that's how I know, like, yes, girl, like, you almost done. And then, y'all, I was recording this at, like, freaking 1 o'clock in the morning. I was so tired. I wanted to go to bed. Y'all gonna see me actually end up getting aggravated in this video, y'all. But anyway, sorry, sorry. Like, I'm venting and stuff. I don't even need to read this voiceover, girl. You know when you talk about hair, keep it with hair. You lay down on top of the glue and I also go in and I push the hair back, brush it back just in case any glue like seeps through. Push it back, push it back, push it back. Then you blow dry, y'all. You lay it there and then you blow dry. So after you blow dry for like an hour, <laughs> um, I just go in with my hairspray. Um, I either use Got To Be or this one. I think it's called like Revlon Extra Hold or something. I'm not even sure, y'all. I'll probably write it in the comments or something. So if you need it, it's down there. I'll include all of the stuff that I use inside the comments, even though I don't get promo for it, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you just spray that on there. And it's to keep the lace down as well as to keep the hair pushed back. Honestly, you could never blow dry too much. Like, I just want to make sure that it is stuck and glued down. Now, y'all, don't do me. Do not, yeah, yeah, don't do me. I know it's dirty, but it's going to hold my lace down. So, who's really mad? Not me, because my lace is on my head. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways, y'all, this is my elastic band that I've had for, like, probably, like, three months now. 
it hasn't even been like three months. It's probably been like a month, y'all. And it just be getting so dirty. And I just like buying a new one. So if you want to send me a real lace band, then you do that instead of talking about me. Damn. This is my favorite part. The hot combing. Ooh, I definitely burnt myself. How I check if the hot comb isn't hot anymore. I use the end of the hair and I put a little bit of heat on it. The hot comb on it. If it curls up, then you got to like blow it a little bit more. But y'all make sure that y'all blow your hot combs and y'all don't just start putting it on your hair. Because your hair will burn. Oh, okay, this part, I'm, I'm not even talking fast enough, but y'all, this hair was supposed to be 18 inches, and it does not look like 18 inches at all. Here, I just took a break from hot combing and I went to go start cutting the lace. Now, I cut it into four sections and then I actually used like an eyebrow cutter, whatever it's called, to cut my um, tracks off. No, to cut the lace off. But um, I didn't show that part on camera because I couldn't like really see for real, for real. And I know you guys can see that one side looks like it's melted to the ground. And then the other side looked like my head, lace is standing up on my head. I'm going to fix it. By the end of this, it's going to be fixed. I promise. I promise. Go back in with your lace band. You can never lay it down too much. And then you go in with your hot comb. Again, lace band and hot comb, y'all. Lace band, hot comb, and blow dry. Like, that's the most important things. Y'all, 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 y'all. I know I look real upset and annoyed, but I promise I'm not. It was just really, really late at night, and I was just really tired. Like, I need to fix my face and start smiling more. Well, I'm not paying attention, but... Yeah, uh, uh, I keep getting off track. Anyways, this is just me sticking the comb that comes in the back of my wig under my braid so my wig is secured, okay? After that, I just went in with a little bit more makeup here. I got upset because I couldn't get it open and I was tired. I go in with a little bit of makeup and I put it on the on my edges of the lace just to try to hide those harsh lines. And now that I think about it, I probably like went a little bit too light, but I'll take that into consideration the next time. And yeah, this is the finished look for right now. That's gonna be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't find it's my post up and anything on the channel, y'all. If y'all want a video on me clucking, doing the baby hairs and everything, just let me know down in the comments, y'all. And until the next video, later, y'all. Bye, guys.